Hello to everyone, this is Masood and today I'm going to talk about different methods for the synthesis of nanoparticles. These methods include co-precipitation, hydrothermal, inert gas condensation, sputtering, microwave, soil gel method, biological, template, spark discharge, ultrasound, laser ablation, and microemulsion. And this session, I'm going to talk about co-precipitation method. Co-precipitation reactions involve the simultaneous occurrence of nucleation, growth, coarsening, and or agglomeration processes. Co-precipitation reactions exhibit the following characteristics. First, the products are generally insoluble species formed under conditions of high supersaturation. Second, nucleation is a key step and a large number of small particles will be formed. Third, secondary processes such as Oswald ripening and aggregation dramatically affect the size, morphology and properties of the products. Fourth, the supersaturation conditions necessary to induce precipitation are usually the result of a chemical reaction. This diagram shows a schematic illustration of co-precipitation method. You should prepare two solutions, an anion solution and an cation solution. After mixing these solutions, nucleation and growth will be happened and after agglomeration we have three more steps include precipitation filtration and calcination and finally the nanoparticles will be obtained typical co-precipitation synthetic methods are metals formed from aqueous solutions by reduction from non-aqueous solutions electrochemical reduction and decomposition of metal organic precursors. Oxides form from aqueous and non-aqueous solutions. Metal calconides formed by reactions of molecular precursors. And finally, the last one, microwave or sonication assisted co-precipitation. Co-precipitation method has advantages and disadvantages. This method offers some advantages include it is simple and has rapid prepar preparation. You can easily you can easily control the particle size and composition of final product. It has various possibilities to modify the particle surface, particle surface state and overall homogeneity. Co-precipitation method doesn't need to low doesn't need to high temperature, so it is energy efficient and it does not involve use of organic solvent. Disadvantages. Co-precipitation method isn't applicable to uncharged species. Trace impurities may also get precipitated with the product and this method is time consuming and has batch to batch reproducibility problems and it does not work well if the reactants have very different precipitation rates. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe us for more videos about nanotechnology and nanoscience. Bye-bye.